If you are on a Mac and you are trying to connect the Django project to a MySQL database, you might encounter a problem the moment you run the Django server to test your project. You might have gotten this long list of errors that ends with a message that says underscore MySQL is not defined. The most important part of this long list of errors is the one at the top that describes an import error with details about the MySQL client library not being loaded. If you see this part that says library not loaded at rpath slash lib mysql client dot 21 dot dy lib, it means that for some reason your system cannot seem to find this file. Here are a couple of solutions that I've tried that have fixed this error for different users. The first solution is to create a symbolic link in your slash user slash local slash lib folder that points to this file. If you choose the go menu in finder and select go to folder and enter slash user slash local slash mysql slash lib, you should be able to find the lib mysql client file in there. The problem is, in some systems, Python seems to be trying to look for it in another folder slash user slash local slash lib. So we can try creating a symbolic link in there. To do so, open a terminal window and execute the following instruction. You will be asked to enter an administrator password to complete this. You can copy this code in the video description below under the solution one heading. ln-s creates a symbolic link to the source file and places it in the target path. Your other option is to manually copy the lib mysql client file into the slash user slash local slash lib directory. Once you've completed this step, go back to your Django project and execute python manage.py run server. If that doesn't fix the problem, here is solution number two. Now, before we continue, I would like to point out that I am working on this using a Python virtual environment specific for my Django project. If you are not using a virtual environment, I would not recommend that you continue the next steps. Instead, I would suggest that you create a virtual environment for your Django project first, and then come back here to fix the problem. So for solution number two, this solution requires that you have the Xcode command line tools installed. In this solution, we will modify the path to the MySQL client library so that our system can find it. Instead of saying our path, which is a relative path, we will specify the absolute path instead, slash user, slash local, slash MySQL, slash lib, slash lib mysql client dot 21 dot dy lib. To do this, we will need to edit a dot so file, which we will find in the mysql db directory inside our Python environments site packages folder. For me, I can find it in my virtual environment folder inside lib, inside Python, inside site packages, inside MySQL DB. In here, you should see a file named underscore mysql.cpython-38-darwin.so. dash dash Darwin dot so. Let's open a terminal window in this folder and type this command so we can see the path. You can copy these instructions in the description below under the solution two heading. After executing this command, you should see a path that says at our path slash lib mysql client dot 21 dot dy lib. To change the path from a relative path to an absolute path, type this next in the terminal window. Once you're done, go back to your Django project and execute python manage.py run server again, and hopefully this has fixed the problem. 